A newly released video is raising questions about a company at the center of a criminal investigation stemming from the nation's opioid epidemic. Former executives and managers for Insys Therapeutics are on trial in Boston. They're accused of bribing doctors to prescribe a highly addictive fentanyl spray. Federal prosecutors allege the company used a music video to motivate employees to push sales of the medication. Tony DeCopel is following the trial. Tony, good morning. Good morning. Those former incest executives and managers are charged with conspiring with one another to use bribes and kickbacks for doctors who wrote large numbers of prescriptions. The video shown in court yesterday is now just one piece of mounting evidence in the case. It's a therapeutics that is our name. We're raising the bar and we're changing the game. Federal prosecutors say this five-minute rap video debuted at an incest sales conference in 2015. In it, two young salesmen promote the powerful fentanyl spray, Subsys. The message, encourage incest sales representatives to push doctors to increase the strength of Subsys prescriptions until a patient reaches the adequate dosage. It's a process known as titration. I love titration, yeah, that's not a problem. And I got new patients and I got a lot of them. Prosecutors say the person wearing the Subsys costume, labeled with the medication's highest dosage, is incest's former vice president of sales, Alec Berlikoff. I love titration, yeah, that's not a problem. In November, Berlikoff pleaded guilty in the nationwide conspiracy to bribe doctors to prescribe Subsys. He's expected to testify as a government witness. In 2017, CBS News learned incest made 18,000 payments to doctors the year before that totaled more than $2 million. Our resources. Prosecutors claim incest founder John Kapoor personally recruited physicians for a kickback scheme, which included dinners at high-end restaurants and payments for sham speaking engagements. Kapoor's attorney has claimed he's innocent. They've made allegations about different marketing and sales techniques by the company. He was not involved in that at all. Since the Food and Drug Administration approved Subsys in 2012 to treat severe cancer pain, Insys has reportedly disclosed more than 900 substance-related deaths to the FDA. Insys Therapeutics has told CBS News it is cooperating with authorities and is committed to complying with all laws and regulations that apply. No new raps or rhymes this morning. Yeah, it's very disturbing. And when you look at that rap video in context with this story, there's nothing cute about that. It seems inappropriate. It really does. Thank you very much, Tony DeCopo.